Natural process, also called dry process, is the oldest method used to remove the coffee seed from the coffee cherry, and it's still commonly practiced in many coffee-growing countries, including East Ethiopia, where Arabica coffee was first discovered. First, as in every other processing method, the coffee cherry is picked ripe sorted and farmer put the coffee on the special bed called African raised bed. Generally speaking, washed is a term used to describe coffee seeds that are removed from their fruit as soon as possible, typically within 8 to 12 hours after being harvested. Because the seeds are not removed from the fruit for natural processing, the cherries themselves are incredibly important. Only the ripest, freshest and most developed fruit will be accepted. Meticulous sorting will take place during the delivery as well as throughout the drying process. Instead of being loaded for depulping, fermentation and washing, the coffee is brought to the mill in cherry and sorted, weighed and reported before moving directly to the drying area. Coffee is often dried on raised beds that are woven or made of mesh in order to allow air to circulate around the fruit. This allows for a more even and uniform drying of the cherry on each table. Drying naturals can be tricky for several reasons. The fruit's organic material starts fermenting as the cherries are picked and it's accelerated once the fruit's exposed to the sun. Drying naturals also takes longer than washed or even honey coffees. It can take three to four weeks for the fruit to dry completely and for the seeds inside to reach the moisture content around 11%. After the fruit is dry, it's transferred to the dry mill where the coffee and its cherry will be run through a humming machine which uses friction to remove the fruit and the parchment layer. The resulting green coffee is taken to a mill to be sorted by hand or by special equipment and it will also be polished at this stage. Then it's placed in sacks and stored in a warehouse until it's ready to be shipped. The washed process, sometimes known as wet process, is commonly found in many coffee-growing countries around the world, including parts of Africa and most of Central and South America. It's designed to remove the coffee fruit from the coffee seed quickly and thoroughly after the coffee is picked so that it can be dragged clean in its parchment layer. Generally speaking, the washed process can be an efficient way to prepare coffee seeds for export and climates that have cool overnight temperatures and good sun exposure during the day. It's also a space saver for small producers who do their own wet milling and some of their own drying on their property. The cherry is selectively picked by hand and carried to a receiving point in the farm. The cherry is delivered to an area around a small mechanical depulping machine, which is equipment commonly found on farms in Latin America. Before being pulped, it's weighed rinsed and given first taught for quality. Some producers do what's called a float test of their coffee cherries. They submerge the cherries in water and scoop off any cherries that float to the top of the tank, which is a sign of a defect. After dipping, the seeds are still covered in their sticky fruit material, which is called mucilage. This mucilage is removed throughout the washing process. The sticky seeds are typically transferred to a fermentation tank. The pulp leftover is usually used for compost or fuel or discarded. The seeds will be left like this overnight to ferment in the tank. Fermentation happens in every type of post-harvest processing, but in the wash process, the producer tries to moderate the time and temperature. The coffee is being dried on tops on a wooden patio under a plastic cover is designed to control the temperature and airflow in order to dry the coffees efficiently while preserving the quality the seeds are spread into a thin layer on the patio using a wooden rack. The coffee will be raked several times a day throughout the drying process to ensure that it dries evenly. This happens until it reaches an internal moisture of about 11%, which can take up to one or two weeks depending on the weather. After the coffee is dried, it's transported to a storage unit or a warehouse in its parchment layer where it will put in the sacks until it's ready to be exported. Then the parchment will be removed and coffee will be shipped. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoy. Please do comment below and share. See you on next video. Bye.